Understanding Lung Capacity, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating aspect of the English language and biology, lung capacity. Understanding this term is not just about language, but also about how our bodies work. So, let's dive in and learn together. Lung capacity refers to the maximum amount of air the lungs can hold. It's an important measure in both health and fitness contexts. Think of your lungs as balloons that can inflate and deflate. The more air they can hold, the greater their capacity. Lung capacity is made up of several parts. Total lung capacity, TLC. The total volume of air in the lungs after a maximum inhalation. Vital capacity, VC. The maximum amount of air a person can exhale after a maximum inhalation. Residual volume, the air remaining in the lungs after a full exhalation. Understanding these components helps in grasping the broader concept of lung capacity. Several factors can influence lung capacity, such as age. Lung capacity generally decreases with age. Physical fitness, athletes often have higher lung capacities. Health conditions, respiratory diseases can reduce lung capacity. Height, taller people tend to have larger lung capacities. Lung capacity is crucial for several reasons. Health monitoring, it helps in diagnosing and monitoring respiratory diseases. Physical performance, higher lung capacity can improve endurance in sports. Quality of life, good lung capacity is associated with better overall health. We hope this video has enhanced your understanding of lung capacity in both an English language and biological context. Remember, learning new terms is not just about words, but about the concepts behind them. Stay curious and keep learning!